Hello my friends, uh, Northside here, aka Are Forgiven. Uh, we are in the jungle, where, where else will we be? Um, so, like, it, like the title says, this is just uh, since uh, it's been a while since I made a, a video, it, almost a month. Um, nothing much to do actually, so uh, I figured I, I share with my subscribers uh, how things are and how things are going for me. Um, basically the game is uh, in a stalemate and that's fine so this won't be a long video it's just uh, kind of a update to you guys how I'm progressing uh, without uh, playing a lot actually um, and I'm really sorry about that uh, I did have some uh, uh, real life issues to, to attend to so I can barely play hour or two a day so that's that being said there's not a lot of content to, to begin with uh, most of my friends and me are just running Tomb of the Nine Gods, and um, and that's for a reason. Uh, actually, two reasons: the the money is there, the AD is there, and also what else can we run? You know. Uh, granted, uh, there is um, as you can see the double seals. We can salvage a lot, so we can um, if you got time and it's a weekend, uh, you can you can basically. Uh, how can I say uh, grind the shit out of it and uh, salvage as much as you can in this um, two, one and one and a half day two days left so uh, I hope you all had a good uh, good good few weeks and and uh, and this week also um, so as it's Saturday I got grab some time and I'm going to um, show you what I did basically without a lot of effort I must say um, that being said, let's let's just go to the char. As I said in my previous videos, I did set up some priorities, and I hit that mark. So um, I already showed you guys uh, that I made all rank 13s basically. Now the changes uh, don't get fooled by this Holy Avenger. I am just uh, trying it out, and uh, I still do have. Uh, I, I'm still running lightning, of course, some parallel one, as you can see. So, um, as I was saying, uh, what I changed in the build overall uh, is the Soul Side Crystal, which is a boss killer, and it works really cool. Now, I'm not saying it's better than the Wheels of Elements, uh, because it's only 10 seconds for 50% additional damage, but I'm, I'm going to tell you guys in 50% 50, uh, 50 additional damage in 10 seconds, especially if somebody else has it, and you sync to the, the popping of the artifact, uh, fully buffed in a party, just melt the boss down, you know. Uh, but who who played with it or played in a full buff party knows what I'm talking about, basically, you know. Um, so I opted it for this one instead. Um, I'm not still. I still refuse to, you re, um, refuse to use wheels of elements because it's there is a delay. I lose my overcharge defense uh, offense. Pardon me. And you know. Uh, there is no delay on this artifact also. Uh, when I pop this artifact, uh, Eye of the Giant, for example, if I move, it, got, it, it gets cancelled. And uh, what can I say? Uh, basically, it works fine so far. I only got it yesterday. Thanks, Queen. And um, what else? Uh, I showed you the Lord Roy shirt. Uh, basically, all the enchants you are seeing here are still, still uh, the same, like from my previous video. Now I got a few questions people ask me, so I'll, I'll try to answer it. Why am I not using Wheels of Elements? I think I just answered that. Basically, uh, I just it's too complicated for me. Fine, it is a lot of damage as a fire damage, but it's this is how I roll for now. Uh, also, uh, I'm using Primal Raid Kanzu uh, with also yeah, like I said uh, in my previous video. Uh, I did make Unparalleled Bark Shield. Also, people are, my viewers and subscribers are asking me which is better in the game. Also, Unparalleled Bark Shield, Unparalleled Negation. Yeah, look, guys, uh, it's all up to you, guys. Um, I like not to be one-shotted, but uh, eventually, if you went into, into the Tomb of the Nine Gods, you guys know that if you got caught by a destroyer or it gets warm, you're gonna die. You can wear whatever the enchant you want. Um, that that being said, I'm still running on parallel bark shield. Uh, maybe I'll get a negation. Maybe I won't. We'll see. 
uh, as it is for now, uh, bark shield is the is the uh, is the enchant I'm using for the armor. Okay. Now I do have Raxamiculum. Sometimes I switch between Ramiculum and uh, Right Kanzu, but what I noticed is that uh, this bonus from a uh, Primal Raid Kanzu is really good. Sometimes I have over 30-35k defense, and that's a lot of defense. And even that doesn't save me, but uh, I noticed that in some situations I do not get one shotted. Granted, I do left. I am left with 15% hit points, which is more than enough to uh, be healed, or just pop the stone of health. It doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, the other the artifacts are, you know, pretty much the same. I have the giant. Sometimes I switch to sigil, sometimes to something else, it really doesn't matter. My armor pen is a sweet spot in 10k, uh, but I will get to that later. Um, basically, uh, in the last month, like I said, I made two unparalleled enchantments. And uh, most importantly, I finished my bonding 14s, as you can see. Now, when you put it on a pen and paper and, and try to calculate it, it is a lot of money. But this was my goal, basically, and uh, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So uh, every one of these, this is nine ultimate enchanting so that so that's nine million, plus three coal wards, that's one million and one point two million. That's around, uh, let's say, um, ten, eleven million plus the refinement. Uh, also, I had a question about why am I using? Uh, hold on. Why am I using the Loyal, uh, Loyal Avenger gear? Well, I'm going to show you why, because uh, it means nothing to... I can... Look, guys, I, I'll show you my... I got Fierce Ring. Um, uh, I got Adorable Bites Ring. I can put two offensive slots, but I don't need it. When I'm soloing stuff, everything is melting. And when, when I'm in the party, of course, in a full buff party, especially, I'm... I'm talking about Tomb of the Nine Gods now because that's most of, most of, mostly what I'm running. Okay, of course I'm running the other dungeons, but um, that's like the challenge and that's where the money is and uh, it's really... Um, I'll show you. One, one million, you know. You get one... Even if you get only a couple of... Uh, one or two a week, that's still two, three million if you get lucky. And we got an event coming soon, yeah. It's gonna be double in chance. Winter festival is also coming, so th there will be some goodies. Um, but uh, I think it's on 21st December that uh, we're gonna get double in chance. So my advice to you guys is to try to 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 farm as much as you can to the ultimate enchanting stones now. Uh, I want to, uh, okay, let me show you just the companion stats at the moment, 8,000 power, 3.15 crit, almost 2k armor pan, and 2.550 defense. I, do, I will not make rank 14s yet. Uh, now, I know I said in my previous video that the developer said it's going to be more affordable or more easier to obtain the ultimate enchanting stones, but... Uh, as I said in my other previous videos, I don't trust them. So you know, and I was kind of right in, in a few 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 things, nerfs, whatever. Uh, you guys have to understand that uh, they could give us maybe one or two new dungeons, hopefully one in mod 13. But I will cover that, of course, as I covered the other modules, and uh, basically, uh, I will I will we will know we will know before. Um, before before the mod hits, I will test the shit out of it, of course, and uh, you know how it goes. So uh, you can see my stats here; um, they're pretty pretty static. Uh, power share is working flawlessly, so um, you can cut down those runs to 16, 18, 19, 21 minutes. I'm good with uh, anything around 20 minutes, 20, 22 minutes. It's fine for me for Tomb of the Nine Gods. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you one thing: since I didn't have a lot of time. On my hands, I was only running two. I even had that on my status, on my uh, uh, history, on my friends. Uh, my friends could see it that I only run two tombs a day, and on weekend maxed one. That's it. I got burned out. Uh, it was really frustrating. 
but eventually it took me around uh, three and a half weeks to get uh, these bonnies to 14 and uh, that's that that works for me now uh, now what else uh, I had a few questions also so yeah I answered about uh, Loyal Avenger gear like I said I can put any ring uh, I have more rings in the bank also uh, it makes no difference to me okay so I am trying to get the optimal stats and with this bonding's 14 now they're all 65% a little bit more power 150 power this is uh, my personal opinion guys so I know there will be some disagreement but uh, basically um, what I'm doing now I'm trying to I'm hopping from lightning to fate touch to holy avenger but at the end if I'm hitting with a lightning over 30 million hits IBS I'm good with lightning guys I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bullshit you you know I'm not gonna lie to you and uh, basically you know that's about it um, what else like I said I really do hope uh, that it's it's basically it's always the same you know uh, before every module um, we got the, that that vacuum period where we don't really have much to do but I am I'm kind of skeptical about uh, drop rate on the ultimate enchanting stone now also gonna be honest with all of you I am not I do not give a single fuck spend 3.5 million to get 180 uh, total uh, how can you uh, stats so 90 power 90 crit thank you guys but no thank you on the companion fine I'll do it now let's just calculate it that, that's two four six um, that's 18 enchanting stones uh, 12 uh, ultimate marks of potency and six cold wards guys you do the math but as it is with the prices now uh, it's two four six times one that's six million plus uh, it's around eight million I think don't get don't uh, hold me hold hold me for that but you know sorry about my English guys I'm trying to uh, explain as easier and simpler as I can so what I'm trying to say is uh, basically I hit my goals uh, those were those were basically what I was aiming for and from now on I am uh, I am kind of in a doubt that I should maybe either keep the enchanting stones or sell them but it's a risk so what I'm going to what I'm going to do uh, I am going to sell all the ultimate enchanting stones I get and hope for the best you know and hope for the best uh, because obviously the ultimate enchanting stones are what's driving the economy now as you can see they're all million and uh, basically uh, oh, of course the lures but lures are kind of in a in, in a backspace now you know they're pushed in a corner so um, uh, but yeah that's about it like let's recapulate one more time uh, like I said in my previous video, uh, I told I'm gonna address you guys. Barshil is done. Um, Umbrella Lightning, Umbrella Holy Avenger, Soul Psy Crystal, working like a charm. I even got my life still a little bit low, uh, higher. Um, I'm even thinking about uh, raising my hit points, uh, switching the Azures to uh, Savages, so I'll get more hit, more hit points and more um, life still. So, uh, what else? Yeah, I won't be demonstrating anything now. Uh, regarding the build, uh, basically, um, I'm using Savage Advance. It's really handy uh, on the last boss, or basically any any harder hitting boss, because uh, which is not uh, proneable. If it's if he's immune, but on on the last boss of Tomb, it really comes in handy. It really does. I still keep the slam feet on, as you can see. So this is like an, this is not a build video. I'm just saying that I didn't change anything. I'm still using Battle Awareness, um, marking targets, uh, Bell Fury. Uh, basically, with all these cooldowns, um, I can pop it anytime I want. Okay, I got daring shot slotted because I'm in the jungle. It's easier to just, you know, 
clear the jungle with it uh, but as I said uh, that's about it guys um, mounds basically say stay the same nothing is changed uh, my boons are the same if you want to check out my build my boons uh, my feet uh, stuff like that uh, I will leave the link in the description uh, or you can just go to my YouTube channel and check the Neverwinter playlist um, I'm actually pretty uh, relieved that I actually hit the mark I was aiming for and uh, those were two unparalleled or more and bondings rank 14s everything else can wait everything else can wait um, item level as you can see I can pump it up to, to 7.8 K it is totally irrelevant and it means nothing to me uh, I gotta say that um, so uh, if you guys um, I'm trying to remember if you guys had any questions uh, there's a lot of debating uh, lightning terror guys uh, I am an endgame GWF don't get me wrong this is nothing cocky but uh, you know you you, sh you see me playing who guys who are playing with me knows how I play I'm pretty sure that uh, it's a minor 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 difference you know because I, I tested the fate touch I tested in a buff parties I tested Holy Avenger um, and I must remind you guys that I don't always run with the best parties you know there are some parties that you just map the bosses you know uh, I saw some guys did a 13 minutes runs of uh, of Tomb of the Nine Gods, some guys do it in 16, some guys do it in 19, you know, skipping all the, all the traps and just burning through everything, which is actually great, but actually uh, watching all, all uh, if you watch all those, uh, all those, if you, if you see, uh, pay attention to those examples, I, I'm, I kind of made my own point that they just sold us our power back. So what's left? Uh, what's left? It's left to nerf the power share or whatever, but they gotta be really careful with it because um, nobody. I don't. I'm, I'm the first guy who doesn't want to stay in the dungeon uh, for 40, 45 minutes with a ridiculous drop rate. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, I well. Uh, also, um, I want to congratulate guys who got all their rank 14s already. That's re pretty cool. Um, but like I said, uh, this was my priority, and this artifact, I was, uh, I had my eye on it for a while, since I uh, don't, I don't steal anybody's, uh, anybody's buffs and stuff like that. Now I know it's a single target, regardless. I can always uh, switch to Eye of the Giant, then on a boss to Soul Side Crystal. But Soul Side Crystal, trust me, guys, hits are awesome. If you time it right, don't just go inside and pop it wait for the everything to stack wait for the buffs and debuffs and then and then just wreck the shit out of everything it's, that is in a way is it a turtle is it a droofy is it uh, orcas it doesn't matter it doesn't matter in those two seconds if you're full unstoppable you can do a lot of damage you know now I know that that, 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 that basically it's power life still control bonus but it doesn't matter to me like I said, this is my individual opinion. I know a lot of people don't agree with me or, or agree or whatever. But like I said, um, it doesn't have to be that bad. It doesn't have to be that bad because when you're an endgame, uh, basically it's it's all in, in um, I don't know. There, there was actually debate going, is it better to have a half orc or, or basically... Um, I don't know, Dragonborn, it's, I, I just didn't know what to say. I mean, I can turn myself into a dwarf and still kick the shit out of everything. It's it, it's simple as that, you know. I think people, or, I, I urge you not to overthink it. Just take the best, test it out, and what works best for you. Also, there there was this guy on my channel asking a lot of questions. Should I slot, slot steel bliss? Should I do this? Bro, just slot it in, test it out. Take your time, take an hour, half an hour, see how it goes. Then switch to Wrathful Determination or switch to Steel Blitz or switch to uh, anything else. And uh, adapt to a dungeon. Every dungeon needs some kind of adapting. You're just not just going to go and run and just, you know, I always adapt to a dungeon. You know? I, 
that's that's my thing you know so um like i said let's uh, just one more time what's new uh, unparalleled bark shield unparalleled bark shield of course um soul Psych crystal and bonding rank 14 it took me a little less than a month i was playing maybe an hour or two a day now i got some more time i'm gonna play more or not it depends uh, how much time i have and in real life and uh, basically will also you will see that my pets are still the same also a lot of people are just i'm just gonna say this for for last uh should i uh, people are asking me why are you using air archon it's just because it's uh, he's always next to me he's getting the buff from the dc and he's getting uh he's always next to me he dies very off very rarely and uh, usually uh, people would uh, use cell sword for the extra debuff but the party uh, parties i'm running uh, i mean if you look at it i got a debuff from this debuff from that clerics um also the dinosaur equip power uh, mount power there's enough debuffs going on without my cell sword trust me guys so um okay we're hitting 21 minutes mark so uh I want to thank you all for the for, for for the support guys you guys are great um i uh, i want to thank every one of you uh greets to greets to queen greets to lilith greets to uh, jessica greets to marcus uh greets to my guild my friends uh who are uh was there for me and uh who are um basically it's a social aspect that's keeping me here for now and i'm really enjoying it you know fuck it it's not it's not all about the game you know i know it's boring but you know i'm trying to find some fun in it that's that's all i really can say so uh this is a monthly monthly report from me uh like i said if you guys have any questions leave it in the uh, comment section be respectful i urge you guys uh to each other and to me um i'm this is a friendly channel and uh, i tend to help people so this is my report on the on the well monthly report uh, uh we got another we got a lot of stuff coming on uh winter festival is gonna be fun i always like that festival and uh, uh, if i have something else to add or something is changed i will make a video about it if you guys have any questions also um like I said, leave it in the comment section, and uh, I hope I answered everybody. Um, this is my weapon of choice, weapon enchantment of choice, uh, armor enchantment of choice, and my pet setup. That's how I roll. Who ran with me know know how I operate, and it's more than efficient, guys. I would say it's more than efficient, and um, that's that's about it. I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, make this longer than it should be let's just um, let's just uh, enjoy the weekend i hope you guys have good good luck drops with ultimate enchanting stones and uh, this was north side aka unforgiven um grease to all my friends and you know who so uh yeah um i will see you soon guys hopefully we're gonna get a new uh, module on the preview I really do hope because this is just ridiculous running the same exact dungeon all, dungeon all over and over again just to get more money, 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 money. So anyway, thank you all guys one more time for support and I will see you soon. This was Northside aka Unforgiven. Bye bye guys.